Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Thank you for giving me your time. You may have found me through the TikTok videos that I started with last week that's gone a little bit crazy, much better than I ever thought would happen. And it's led you here, or you may have found this through some other way. Either way, I'm really grateful. These are the things that I can promise you from this channel. All my videos will be fairly short. They'll be easy to digest. You can sit down, have a cup of tea, and I promise you, you would have finished the video well before you finished the tea. Nobody wants to come on YouTube for a two hour video and be bored, senseless. <laughs> because let's face it, some of this is boring. Tutorials, training, let's keep these five-ish minutes and then we can roll on, all right? I won't ever make up my numbers or top up any success that I've got. I'm gonna be open about mistakes I've made. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be honest about the successes I've got, how small they might be, because I'm fully accepting the fact that these could be small returns for a number of months before things get big. I want this page to be different. I am so sick of going on YouTube and seeing success figures. I made six figures. I genuinely saw a guy say, follow my method, I made $550,000 last month. <laughs> Mate, if you made that, you, you wouldn't be on YouTube, pal. I want you to know that I'm gonna be honest and that I'm on the same path as you watching this, hopefully. And this isn't about me being a saint. I'm not looking just to help the world. I know from me that if I help you, it will actually motivate me to carry on and keep going myself. Today's video, we're gonna cover these questions. Why do we wanna sell on Amazon now? How do we find the things to sell on Amazon? What are the different ways to sell on Amazon? This is a nuts and bolts introduction on how you sell on Amazon. Full disclosure, I've done all of these already. I am in a place where I can start buying things and start sending them in. This is the research that I've done prior to going live on TikTok, YouTube and whatnot. But this, these are the steps I took before I got here. So number one, why are we selling on Amazon now? Let's not kid ourselves. If you didn't know this, I suggest this isn't the video for you. <laughs> Go back and read a book. Amazon is the biggest shop online in the world. Now, you say these things and we know about Amazon, but let's put this into context, all right? Some of these stats, they blew my mind. Amazon sells over 800 products per second in their peak times. 800 per second. Here's another one, more than half of the products sold on Amazon worldwide are sold by small and medium sized sellers. That's us, small sellers, that's us. Over half of what Amazon sell. Don't let anyone tell you it's oversaturated because the fact is, if you're watching this and you're learning something from it, you're in the majority. I could speak to so many of my friends and family and no one would know this process. Amazon makes over 600 million pound per day in sales. And this is a beauty for us. More than 50,000 small and medium sized businesses sold over 400,000 pounds worth of stock in 2021. How do we find things to sell on Amazon? This is a biggie. And this is the nuts and bolts of the whole operation. There are some phrases that you're gonna to need to get used to if we're going through this journey, right? First one, arbitrage. Arbitrage. Arbitrage is to take advantage of different prices for the same asset in different markets. That's a posh way of saying, find something cheap and sell it for more. For Amazon, for what we're doing, there are two different methods for finding items. This is called sourcing. Number one, online arbitrage. You buy goods online, then you sell them for more money on Amazon. This can be done while you're sitting on your backside on the sofa, watching Friends, the same episodes that you saw about 15 years ago. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> anywhere with a laptop, anywhere with an internet connection, you can go online and you can start looking for bargains. On top of that, you've got different add-ons like top cashback sites. That if you implement those and use those as you're selling, you get a bit of money back as well. The disadvantage to online arbitrage is if you're going out and you're going to big shops, supermarkets, Argos, Boots, and you're finding these online deals, you can pretty much guarantee another big group of sellers are finding the same deals. 
competition will be rife. That's not a reason not to do it, but you need to go into these things with your eyes open. A bit of competition isn't the worst thing in the world. If there's 10 of you selling the same thing, plenty to go around. The beauty of online arbitrage is that you can sit down, start looking and get started today. Number two, the other one, retail arbitrage. This is where you actually go into the store and find your bargains. Yes, it's time consuming. Yes, it's more manual. But I can tell you, this is a bit of me. We enjoy this. Me and my wife, we go out and we go out looking. It's a treasure hunt. It's fun. Competition is much, much smaller too because clearance sales in store, they're unique to every store, even in the same chain. What you might get in the clearance store in Boots in Brighton, where we live, that would be different from the clearance store in Boots in London, for example. In reality, you're always gonna be doing both. Ways to sell on Amazon. These are another couple of terms that you need to remember because they're gonna keep coming up. We've got FBA and FBM. Big thing to know here, using these methods, we are not paying a single penny out on advertising. Nothing, Amazon take care of all of that. You piggyback on the already existing listing. We'll start with FBM. Fulfillment by merchant. You've done your product sourcing and you've got a couple of items that you know will sell on Amazon. What next? If you decide to run your business in the FBM model, you're running it like a souped up eBay. You add the product to Amazon and it will sell. You're the merchant. Fulfillment by a merchant, you're the merchant. You box the item up, you take it to the post office, you ship it off. You deal with the customer service, including any refunds. You'll get a bigger profit, you'll get a bigger slice of the pie. But for me, this is a lot more manual. When you're working full time and you're looking to make some money on the side, this will eat up into your time. It will also eat into any space that you've got left in your house once your storage builds up. This is a biggie as well. If you're FBM, you will not be eligible for the Amazon Prime service. You cannot offer same day, next day delivery. You won't be a Prime seller. Now put yourself in the shoes of the customer. We always go for Prime, right? So the other option, and the one I'll mostly be doing, because sometimes FBM could work, especially Christmas time when there's a real big demand. FBA, fulfillment by Amazon. Let's go back, you've done your product sourcing, you've got your bargains, and you know they're gonna sell on Amazon. You add it to the Amazon server, we'll go into that, you box up everything you've got into one box, doesn't matter how many different units or different types of product it is, you box everything up. You send it off via UPS, Amazon and UPS have got a deal going on so it's super cheap. And then you sit back with your cup of tea. Season five of Friends, by this point, Ross is becoming absolute gold. Amazon will take care of the rest. Yes, they take a bigger slice of the pie, but there is still scope for you here to double, treble. I'm not gonna say quadruple because I've not seen that. Double and treble the investment that you put down. So for me, working full time, three children, I'm gonna be boxing as much as I can up and sending it into Amazon. But this is much more user friendly and takes up a lot less of your time. On top of that, this is the cheapest way to get started. Yes, I'm going in with 100 pound, but if you've got more, I fully still recommend this because it's all about how much percentage you get back on the investment you put in. Right, the first cut ended there, and I've gone back and I've edited it, and I've edited it all down. You can tell where I'm looking at the screen because I'm new at this and I'm reading everything. Uh, I've already broken the first promise. I did say five-ish minutes. I know that one runs at about nine and a half. So I'm sorry for that, but I did start off with the rules. I won't be doing those on every video. I have got another video set up on what you need to get started, and we'll do that one next, bite-sized chunks. I hope that helped to start with. I hope that was a good first step. If you did like it, tell me. If you have got any questions, ask me. If you do want to subscribe, please do so. Let's hope we all get better, eh? At making money and videos. <laughs> Cheers.